Could rank 152 not be worth it for Halo Infinite? Stay tuned throughout the entire video to get all the detail. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a little update here when it comes to Halo news. If we do remember in the previous uh, social stream from 343, Chris Lee did say that. To our most hardest core Halo 5 players, if people hit that tier, can we at least do something for them? If you make Spartan rank 152 in Halo 5, we will do something for you in it. Okay. That is actually a new reveal. That's new information. That yes, if you reach 152 rank, the max rank in Halo 5, you'll get some token showing off that you accomplished that. Now, many people have become motivated now to play Halo 5 again because they want to show off how much they enjoyed Halo 5 or their dedication to the franchise, however you want to phrase it, uh, in when Halo Infinite comes around for having something special, because that's kind of a big part of what uh, customization is, where it's either something super unique or something people can't have will make people want to get it even more. I think all of us Halo 3 fans do remember how much people wanted Recon. They wanted it so badly that they even advertised it on the box for Halo Reach saying, you get Recon when you buy this game. Now, I'm not saying that this, uh, you know, a little token of appreciation of hitting 152 in Halo Infinite will be armor. I don't know. We don't have any spec idea what that is or any form of speculation, really. But I will give you my thoughts of what I would like to see for hit 152. Before going into that, I want to talk about why this is even being brought up. So, Vito recently put up a thing on Twitter showing off about how he's, well, grinding out for 152 and all that kind of stuff. You know, bought a bunch of gold packs, trying to get those, you know, XP boosts and all that stuff, which is a fantastic way to do it. That's what I'm kind of grinding out for. And then Unishek, one of the associate uh, community manager guys on the team, a part of the community team for 343, tweeted back saying this. Unishek said this going to be preemptive in saying if you're grinding just for the reward in infinite you're probably debating if that, that's how you pronounce it yourself from my understanding it's m meant to be a nice token of those who happen to hit max rank but not an ultra exclusive armor worth grinding for on its own then this could end up something maybe something along the li same lines it's helio skrill if you guys remember uh halo 5 uh, the only way to get Helio Skrill at first was if you beat all the MCC campaigns on Legendary. But later on, they put the Helio Skrill into the uh, rec pack. Uh, same kind of thing when it came up to the loot boxes as well. We already had uh, the very first loot box gave you an exclusive weapon skin, which was super awesome. The Sticker Shock one, if you guys remember. And that was, you know, I rocked that for a long time. And then they ended up putting it in the rec packs anyway. So. Anything that was ultimately like super exclusive besides the HCS emblem that lights up saying Vedi Vidi Vici, uh, everything else is pretty much obtainable by any players by either grinding or doing some certain task in the game. Now, does this also hint that this uh, little token of appreciation for Hidden Wealthy 2 might be an armor set? We don't know. Obviously, I don't know how much Unicheck or anybody else really on the team besides the people involved with that th process know exactly what's going on with Halo Infinite because I'm sure everyone has their own little piece but they don't know exactly the whole pie if you know what I mean and so this is what kind of made me think of like even if there is like some kind of minor thing like what would it be uh, I would like to see either like an emblem or some kind of uh, armor decal or an armor piece as well something to go along just to kind of show hey you did it but you know it should be something that'd be something at least exclusive for a while at least the first like maybe six months of the game that would be something exclusive to people who hit 152 because um, uh, there weren't a lot of people who hit 152. According to the Halo Tracker website, there are roughly about 540 people that have played Halo 5 that have reached Sprint Rank 152. Which is kind of crazy to think about that, uh, you know, for all the people who have played Halo 5, all the people who have played it, bought it, you know, still continue to play it, only uh, just over 500 people have reached 152, which is pretty outstanding when you think about it so i would really like to see something special for those people who have done it and you know some of those people even hit it like a you know years ago as well which is even crazier to think about i've been playing halo 5 consistently since it's been released and i'm only level 147 almost 148 i'm hoping if i grind it out hard enough i can get that 152 before the release of halo infinite so for how rare of a little token this is going to be, I feel like it should be something rather significant. A little no tip of the hat saying, hey, good job for reaching that rank. 
uh, because such a few amount of people have done it that it should be something to be kind of rare and exclusive for all the people who stuck and played Halo 5 for that amount of time because it's a lot of game time. Uh, I do believe there was a Luke the Notable video that you know, broke it down exactly how long it would take to sp reach Spartan rank 152 and it's one hell of a grind and so the people who reached it you kind of have to you know give them you know some props because that's one hell of an accomplishment but i would think some kind of armor piece would be awesome some kind of effect something that goes on to your character that you can show off to people that you did this even have it be like a sticker you can put on your armor or something like something that goes on your character in game that you can show off uh, i don't think like an emblem or anything like that would really uh, qualify for it and and also since Unity Strike kind of mentioned it won't be like a super uber uh, exclusive reward that my guess would be something you can probably earn in game or through some form of a microtransaction like a like a battle pass kind of thing like they do with Fortnite or uh, Black Ops. But you know, do write in the comment section down below guys what would you like to see if you hit 152 spent all the time to play what would you want to have in the game. Or, you know, what would be your highest expectations and your lowest expectations? My lowest, for me, definitely would be some kind of, like, armor decal, some sticker kind of thing to go on your gun or your character or something like that. Ultimate goal would be some kind of cool helmet or some, like, armor effect that there was in Reach. Where you kind of uh, got to show off your character and it was very visible and notable. And that's why, like, a lot of people were coveted that re recon helmet so much in Halo 3 because it was so exclusive. And if you had flaming recon helmet, well, then you're just, like, literally just, like, a god in Halo. I still remember all those times of people, like, trying to sell off their account because, like, I have recon, how much you want, how many Microsoft points you want to buy my account for kind of stuff. I don't think it. I don't think this token of appreciation will go that far when it comes to being recognized for 152. But it would be nice to hit, especially for me as a Halo fan. I still really want to get this just because of how much I love playing Halo and how much I do play it. That I feel like it's something I should get just because of my, my dedication to the franchise kind of thing. I'm gonna grind my way. I think a great way to balance out the rareness of whatever we're gonna get for being 152 and infinite, but also keep the accessibility for players who want something like that to get it would have to be something along the lines, I would say, of the haunted helmet from Halo Reach. The way you got that helmet was by reaching max rank inheritor in Halo Reach, so only the most dedicated of players ever got that. I didn't get that helmet in Reach because my playtime was kind of split between Black Ops 1 and Halo Reach, and I think a little bit of Battlefield Bad Company 2 at the time. Though, uh, those guys who got those helmets got something that looked pretty freaking awesome. It goes on your character and it shows your dedication to the game and the franchise. So I would say something along those lines would be probably about right. Though you don't want to just give uh, players coming into Halo Infinite who hit max rank in Halo 5, the max rank helmet kind of stuff because that re reduces their incentive to grind the game out, unlock something, but something along those lines I think would be something about right for hitting max rank in Halo 5 to come into Infinite and still, like I said, maintain the rareness of whatever it's going to be, but also maintain the accessibility so people who want it can't earn it or probably just pay for it as well, which would kind of to mean the whole um, prize and pri pride of having something like that on your character in Halo Infinite. I would just hate to see something that's so hard to get, only a very few amount of people have been able to get it and then have it be available for everyone to get super easy. It should be something that people need to grind for, play for, do something that in game to get rather than just, you know, get it randomly in a loot box. Yeah, let me know in the comment section down below guys what your thoughts are when it comes to this little token of appreciation. Uh, do you kind of bum to hear that? It's probably going to be some kind of minor, nothing's too uh, grandiose. But, uh, you know, something that at least, you know, people will be able to have. And uh, it should be exclusive for at least, like, the first, like, six months or something like that. The game's released so you can show off your uh, fondness of Halo 5, basically. And uh, if you're new to the channel, let's stay up to date with anything Halo-related. Make sure to tap subscribe with the bell keep you notified because, you know, sometimes those sub boxes can be a bit wonky. And if you like this kind of video and want to see more like it, please make sure to tap that like button as it lets me know you want to see some more content like this. If you're new to the channel or missing any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right over here. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.